while we have made our way into the kitchen, here's the thing, everybody. The words keto diet and comfort food don't really seem Not to go usually. together, but this guy right here has found a way to combine the two in delicious harmony. I'm very excited here to make his keto-friendly chicken and dumpling soup is celebrity chef and New York Times best-selling author Rocco Despirito thank you, thank you, thank you, in the thank kitchen. You, thank you for me back. Yes, I appreciate that. Debbie keto, Kim. Keto is king now, right? Keto yeah, is yeah. king. I mean, they're so tired of me talking about it all the yeah. time. I'm glad that I you're I love gonna, that you're advocating for keto. Man. Look at you. Look well, at this person. I try my best. I, mean, I try my best. Yeah. I know you guys are excited to get this So started. you've been doing this for a long time, right? I've been doing this, a low-carb uh, version. Yeah. On and mm -hmm. off for over 20 years yeah. of my life. Keto was a thing. Yeah, before keto, keto absolutely, yeah. and it's always the best that I feel personally. Everybody's a little different, but it's uh, definitely uh, how I, I feel my best. And I know that this recipe, along with many others, comes from your amazing book, Rocco's Keto yes. Comfort Food Diet. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Uh, you know, I go to keto when I'm having a rough patch with myself. Okay. Yeah. You know, when things aren't exactly the way I want them, and sure. I need a quick fix. Keto does the job very quickly. Good. You can lose a lot of weight in you know a week, a week, two weeks, so, three weeks. And so for I, people who just hear the word keto and yeah. it's sort of a buzzword out there th these days. It's basically learning to train your body mm -hmm. from using carbohydrates as your yep. main source of fuel and training it to use fat as your main source mm -hmm. of fuel. And th these are t these are healthy fats. And I know you're a big yeah, fan sure. of Yeah, sure. They're too. healthy fats. And when you're burning a lot of fat, you, you end up reducing triglycerides and improving your health overall. Yeah. You also get a little um, mild antidepressant kick. You said you feel really good. I when feel you're, the best yeah. I you're ever burning feel when fat. I'm your, this, yeah. your brain likes to run on fat. So. It's like night and day. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, enough talking about it and let's <laughs> make it. What do you say? We're sure. going to start with the soup, though, Chicken and correct? dumplings. Yes, we're going to okay, make good. chicken and dumpling soup. I know you're, like, thinking yeah. it's not going to be as good as my grandma's. I did no say that. Way. <laughs> I did. No way. No way. We're going to start out with a traditional base for soup, Beautiful. mirepoix. And that means carrot, celery, onion, sautéed. And we're going to add to little it. little olive oil in there? Uh, there's olive oil, yeah. Okay, and very we're good. we're going to add it to the pre-sautéed chicken thigh. Okay. Can you add the garlic, the thyme, I a little be, salt oh and pepper? Oh, my gosh, Rocco. Cool. I like that you're yes. using the chicken thigh. Yeah. I know. It's so tasty, right? Yeah. Tastes right. It's right. better. Right. Some people argue it's healthier because it's got more minerals. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. 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 Even though it's got a tiny bit more cholesterol. Right. Apparently, it's totally worth it. Okay. But in the keto world, you're trying to keep the fat pretty high. If your fat is not at 60 to 70% of your total caloric intake, oh, should be that you high? don't burn fat. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's quite gotta high. It's got to be up there, yeah. And it's shocking for some people, but I'm oh, telling wow. you, when it happens, you, uh, again, you'll be very happy. Good fat. Good fat. We're yeah. not talking about eating Ice cream. Uh, hopos well, so, and donuts well, and Twinkies all the time. No, 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 no. Those, yeah, are, those are actually bad carbs. Yeah. The fat in there is not is inconsequential. All the sugar in those items were, would throw your kid right off keto. Yeah, yeah. The, and the tricky thing is, I know I don't want to get this too kind of intellectual, but if you're still eating a lot of carbs, like we normally do, and then also increasing your fat, that's a bad combo. So it's Very either bad. one yes, or the yes, other. Yes, that's right. the idea, yeah. everybody. If you're going to yeah. cut back on carbs, try to increase your healthy fats and vice versa. So okay. in, the, in the book, I start you off with 20 grams of carbs a day, all right. get you up to 40, 50, but it's got to be pretty low to start with. Right. Okay. This throw is all that, coming together. Kid, throw this little chicken, chicken stock in there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. What else was in there? Was garlic? So it was, it was there's right. garlic, there's thyme, uh, salt, pepper, yeah. carrots, celery, okay. onion. Your basic soup base, right? And then we're going to stir this up. But, yeah. you know, in order to thicken it up, you have a little bit of a keto trick. So tell us what we have that you're going to add into this. Oh, that's actually... We're going to add cream at, at some added. point. Yeah, exactly. So we got this simmering. While this is cooking, let's make our dumplings. Okay, so the cream helps to thicken it a little the bit. The cream helps add fat so that you can get the nutritionals to be sound okay. and within the keto metrics and also a lot of flavor. Okay. And you can use coconut milk if you wanted to. Oh, and nice. if you wanted to avoid dairy cream, you okay. can use coconut I'm like, sure. Okay, okay so, now, so normally this would dumplings. be a big bowl of flour, right, right for dumplings. Right. But exactly. instead, we've got cream cheese and mozzarella. Oh my right? God. All melted cheese. together. All melted together. Oh, okay. God. Now I'm going to add an egg to this. Okay. This is Better a beaten egg. And in the egg, I'm going to, this is a trick that's not in the book, but I really wanted your fans to know. Great. This is psyllium husk. Okay, tell me psyllium about this because I'm not familiar with it. So, good, so yeah. psyllium husk is a fiber, a naturally occurring plant based fiber, yeah. and it also gels. So it's going to help hold these dumplings together. Okay. Yeah, so it's a really nice little tip. Excellent. If you want anything to be thicker and not add calories to it, fiber is a great way to go. Okay. It's very it's, good. It's your you're very familiar with this fiber. It's sold under another brand name. Mm. I don't want to mention, but oh, okay. it's the kind of fiber that keeps you regular. I but see. also, oh. but also yeah, you, you is put it really in the good. Water for... and you drink it every morning. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. okay. It all right. so, it's all coming together <laughs> yeah. now. Instead for me, well, of so regular speak. flour, we're going to use almond flour. Okay. Okay. Oh, almond okay. flour is always. A great replacement. We're also going to add some parsley. Yep, very and nice. some baking powder. Okay. And a little Celtic sea salt. And very nice. Just, just, just a sprinkle of this, right? Or yeah. Yeah, 
not the whole thing. Why Caltech? Well, yeah. you want to see salt that is pretty close to its original state, meaning it's going to have all 86 minerals and all the algae that's right. normally stuck to it. Hasn't been processed, hasn't been, you know, uh, Washed and cleaned, and, and that's the best one. Bleached, that and that's like, the one. Um, Himalayan sea salt. Yeah, Himalayan's yeah. also very good. Ooh. Yep. So when you have a great food stylist, it looks like this. Okay, no, 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 Rocker, we did that earlier. Right? Oh, food stylist. Yes. <laughs> that's just me. And we're gonna make large dumplings, and we're gonna put them right into the boiling liquid. This okay, is the tra good. traditional way to do it. We're gonna cook okay. them live. And these cook, these cook pretty quickly, right? About, yeah, they're going to uh, cook in about a minute or two. Okay. Wow. While Very we good. do that, while we wait for those to cook, I'd love for you to talk about some of the other beautiful recipes, yeah. comfort food recipes, by the way, that you have in your new book. Tell us about some so of So you've been kind enough to have me on the show for many books now, yeah. uh, Gosh, probably beautiful. 10. Cauliflower pizza, pizza oh. is... Cauliflower meat lover's pizza. So it's a cauliflower crust wow. with lots of meat and cheese on top. That's one of my favorites. Oh. Cauliflower mac and cheese. Cauliflower again coming oh. to the rescue here. It turns out it's a great pasta replacement yeah. and just All a right. great replacement for mm. trash carbs, what I call oh. trash carbs. All right, everybody. Looks like oh, the dumplings are done. Yes. Here, let me take that off. You and I'll get over here. Yes, I certainly will. Cool. Get ready. We will serve them. Okay. Oh, wow. <gasps> wow, look at that. Look at that. They came together. Sort of looks like the they real look thing. They look like my right? grandmother. Yeah. There you go. Wow. There you go. Oh, dumplings for you. you. You get One first. Dumpling. One dumpling. Oh, they're keto. I can have two. That's oh. true. <laughs> and true. they came together so quickly. Since, since Debbie's not eating, you can have three. Oh, oh, oh my I'm not going to even plate one of these up Please for you. Right? Thank you. Save me because I will tell you, you have to have major willpower to be on this show and be fasting for Lent. I'll you tell do. you that much. Oh, but the wonderful. minute... Oh. My fast is over. Sure. The first thing I'm going to eat, besides so lamb chops, that will just be oh. this beautiful should, should we? dumpling should we soup. Not? Give it to Cameron. All right. You can oh, just it so enjoy good. the oh, aromatic quality. Oh. Right. For the you full recipe, you all can go to hallmarkchannel.com oh. oh. and be sure to pick up a copy of Sorry, Rocco's amazing book, Rocco's it. Keto Comfort Food Diet, oh. wherever books are sold. Mm. Get in there, Cam. It you know like what? Home. Here. I'll it give does. It back to you. Tastes mm -hmm. like home. There you go. It tastes That's like home. That's the best compliment ever. Oh. I've never had, had a fairly that functional home. I mean, it's yeah. very fun and happy. Yeah. Good. Good. I've never had a keto meal that tastes like this. I got to tell you, I this bet. is delicious. Wow. Mm.